Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger. But is it worth all of the hype? What are you talking about? I've been waiting for it like a long line. You search the world and you won't find. A nigga like me with a swagger like mine. A brother so free and a nigga so fly. I'm gonna give you my heart, I'm gonna give you my time, and I promise always. Yo, it's your boy Tyrell. And today, I'm gonna be trying out this Beyond Meat Burger. Shout out to Lindsay Vegan. She told me about the Beyond Meat Burger. We got the frozen patty right here. So I decided why not get it and try it and let you guys know what I think. I'm gonna give you guys my honest taste test of this, my honest opinion. It's 20 grams of protein, plant protein inside of this Beyond Meat Burger. Pea protein isolate, pressed canola oil, potato starch, natural flavor, yeast extract, a whole bunch of deliciousness. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on a skillet, put it in a pan, cook for three minutes per side. So that's pretty quick, it's about six minutes total. I think this cost me about five or six dollars. I can't really remember. But I'm disappointed only two of them come in here. Maybe this is like a trial run. But uh, from the looks of it, man, it looks like a strawberry ice cream. <laughs> like a strawberry pie or something, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and heat the skillet up. Medium heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on here. I wish it was more than one, man. I honestly wish it was like four in a pack. Um, I'm not really sure why they only do two. I don't know if it's because they're testing it out to see how many people will buy it. I don't really know, but we're gonna try this thing out. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see what the hype is all about. Everybody be always talking about this. Beyond Meat Burger, try it out. Hmm. It smells like tuna a little bit, man. Like tuna in the can. That smells a little. Yeah, it kind of smells like tuna. I don't know if that's a weird way to explain it, but it smells like tuna. Go ahead and cook it. It's a pretty thick patty, man. It says about three minutes on each side. Kind of look like plankton chumsticks, man. <laughs> Hope it doesn't taste like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I chum? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want it to taste like chum. I'm hoping it tastes like the Krabby Patty. Go ahead and put it on here. And I probably won't add any seasoning, just so I can give you like a better taste test of the actual meat itself. But I'm actually gonna cook it. I'm gonna put like tomatoes, onions, things like that on it to make it look nice and appealing. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest taste test, feel me? So I'm gonna let this cook up on both sides for about three minutes each. I'm gonna plate it. And I'm gonna show you guys what it look like and what it tastes like. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, there it is. Beyond Meat Burger. Now I know you guys see that pink and that red, but even on the back of the box, on the back of the box it says, do not overcook. Interior of patty will still be red or pink when fully cooked. So this isn't undercooked, it's completely cooked. This is how it is. I don't know why. Contact Beyond Meat if you wanna know why. Got some lettuce, some tomato, onion, and some ketchup on this. I'm gonna give you guys my honest taste test of this. Wow, that's pretty damn good. On my bite. Yeah, this is pretty good, guys. You get the taste of that burger, that like that patty feel, that patty texture, that burger texture. All the flavors just come together, man. This is really good. One thing I don't like about it is the fact that only two of them come in a pack. For now, I guess that's okay. If more people buy it, hopefully they get like a bigger bundle. Ratings out of 10, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Beyond Meat Burger is really good. It has that texture, man. I really like it. Will I go out my way and buy this all the time? Probably not because it's like $5 for like two patties, which I mean, to some of you guys, that's probably okay. But for me, I'm not gonna go out my way to get it every single time. If I want a burger, I'm definitely gonna get it. So is the Beyond Meat Burger, is it worth all the hype, all the bickering and hollering, all the screaming? Beyond Meat Burger. Is it worth it? If you guys tried it, let me know. 
comment down below. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Team plant based, baby. Vegan edition. All right, we're out here. Stop eating the cow. Save the cows. Come get this, man. It's damn good, guys. I'm gonna end the video on a positive comment. Shout out to Fresh Mango. Fresh Mango, you've been showing so much love, man. Shout out to you. Fresh Mango says, I like vegan food videos like this. I've never seen that vegan mayo before. I use ve vegan days. Hee <laughs> hee. That's what they said. They said hee hee. <laughs> but shout out to you, uh, Mango. Um, I really appreciate the support, man. It really means a lot uh, for you to go out your way and comment on all my videos and just interact with me. I really love it, man. With all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell so you can get notifications anytime I post. And I will see y'all next video. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about?